Hey guys, it's Ewan from Everything Paddle and I had the best paddle racket for intermediate players right here. We're gonna be reviewing this racket, getting a court, testing it across all of the shots and why I think it's one of the best for that level in between beginner and advanced. The link to this racket is in the description if you wanna find more information about it as well. This is the Knox Equation. It's a racket designed for intermediate players and it's part of Knox's World Paddle Tour range. I think that this is the best paddle racket for intermediate players. I've tested it a lot, I've used it a lot, and if I could, I would probably go back and change my Best Paddle Rackets 2022 video where I named the best for intermediate, the Dunlop Aero Starlight. I think this one's better. I'm not the only one either. There's a huge product testing company called Test Factor who tested eight rackets from the top brands and the Knox Equation won the test for the best racket. The main reason it won was due to the control on comfort, which I'm gonna talk about today. We're gonna to be getting on court. You're gonna see me using this racket and I'm gonna be talking through why I think it's the best for intermediate players. Make sure to watch the end of the video though because there's a couple of things you need to be aware of about this racket. Let's go. So one thing that makes this racket so good, I think, is the fact that it's so good for control and comfort. Two key things if you're gonna play on this right-hand side, on the forehand side, and for intermediate players as well. Players that are getting past that beginner stage, but they need to really work on their control, and they also still wanna have fun. They don't wanna play with something too uncomfortable. Do some volleys with it now. I'm gonna just show you what it's like striking the ball with this racket. So, this racket has a big sweet spot in the middle. It's a round shape and it's got low balance. All of those attributes give you extreme comfort and it becomes very easy to hit the ball on volleys, nice crisp volleys. Also with the rough surface as well, it's very easy to generate large amounts of spin on the ball. So for intermediate players that are sort of first learning how to slice the ball, how to add top spin on the ball, this is ideal for that. Design looks amazing. I love the finish, it's kind of shiny. So I think if you receive this, it's like brand new shiny racket. You've even got like little things like you can decide who to serve with the service up or the service down, you know, spin the racket and decide who to serve. Just little touches like that make it good. Now it's time to do some defensive shots with it. Um, I want to practice sort of ground strokes. I also want to do some, some boasts off the back glass, hitting it off your, my own wall. I think again, like doing quick, fast boasts, you want a racket that's nice and easy to maneuver. Oh. In my opinion, I think if you're going to play on the right, or on the left if you're left-handed, on this sort of forehand side, you should be playing more consistent, more solid, and you need something really easy to use. The reason for that is because you want maximum consistency and maximum control as well. You wanna be hitting the ball in the same place every single time you play. You don't wanna be any having any miss hits at all because you wanna basically make sure you're getting as many balls back as possible so defensively and going forward, I think a racket like this ticks a lot of boxes. This racket has a carbon frame, which obviously makes it durable and strong, but it also has 3K fiberglass on the surface. Now this is much more softer, more flexible, gonna just feel nice when you're hitting. It's not gonna have a hard feel. Another thing that adds to the comfort is the fact that this racket has an anti-vibration system, which basically is a technology from Knox to re reduce vibrations to your arm, basically makes your arm not as strained. Finally, one more thing is it has the dynamic composite structure technology as well that basically just stops it. Bait. I could go really technical, but it just makes the racket stronger. Time for some bandeckers and smashes now, a huge part of the game for intermediate players. Let's see how the Knox equation performs. Oh. Stop. Oh. That's good. Like, that felt amazing. It's the sound, isn't it, though? Like, I don't miss hit a single ball. So for playing this side, it's ideal because, like, I mean, this is almost turned into a video basically saying, use a round racket if you're on this right side, because I think you should, personally. I'm not being super aggressive with it, but I'm just keeping it consistent. And how many, I didn't really miss many there. It's solid and in a game, I probably wouldn't even go for it as much there. I'm not gonna miss a shot there. People aren't gonna be lobbing me much and it's setting up the point for my partner to kill it. It's soft, it's easy to use, 
it's got decent power as well because of the carbon frame and technologies that it's got. Now I'm going to do some smashes with it, but we're just going to see how it feels uh, just to try and kick it out by three. No way. Okay, it's really not bad for the smash at all. Obviously, it's not, it's not like you're playing with the Addy Power or the Nurbo. At the end of the day, it's round shape, it's control based. But I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 for power. Because at the end of the day, I think as long as you get good technique, you can kick it out. A lot of intermediate players are gonna be hitting the ball too hard. I think they should, their main priority, priority should be control and then how to play paddle, which is more of a control game anyway. Guys, I just wanna let you know I am actually using this racket. It would be very easy to me go like, oh, this racket's amazing, I'm using it, but I'm not actually, but recently played a tournament with it. I've been playing matches with it. Uh, as you can see, there's a little uh, mark right there, a little chip mark where I clashed. Um, me and my mate went for the same ball at the exact same time and smashed each other's racket. So I have been using this. I think it's really good. Um, for me, I actually have two rackets. So when I play on the left, I play with a diamond shaped one. Um, because I'm thinking I'm going to be smashing more, I'm going to be playing more aggressive bandekas. When I play on the right, I'm using this one um, because it's just ideal for that sort of control, comfort, consistent game, which I think is very, very important, very underrated as well um, in sort of the whole paddle community. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. If you need help choosing a paddle racket, you can contact me on WhatsApp um, and I can give you specific advice. And this racket is now in stock at Everything Paddle currently. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out.